Welcome to Tech Brothers Dharma. In this video, we are going to learn how to use cache transformation in Azure Data Factory Data Flow Task. So, cache can be used to convert our data uh, to different types. So, let's uh, go ahead and take a look. Here, uh, what I have, uh, I have this uh, customer file. And uh, if you take a look in this customer file, I have ID, I have first name, last name, and higher data. So, mostly, let's say uh, here we have IDs, uh, they are integer. And uh, you can see right there, there is one uh, that's called four. A. So that's not correct uh, integer. So if I want to just uh, uh, make sure I can cast this ID to the integer type and if this is a bad data I can just simply ig uh, ignore it or maybe you know um, uh, redirect uh, uh, somewhere in another uh, destination and then I can take a look on that one later. So we have a first name last name and then I have a higher date. So right here if you see that some of the date formats are bad date, date formats. So here it says 200101 that's not correct year and date and then uh, I have one more bad data for the data is uh, month 13 and that's not possible so there are two values uh, they are bad uh, for this uh, according to the date and there is one uh, that's a bad data according to the integer number. Okay, that's great. We have the data and uh, I will put this in the description as well. So you can use the same data format, maybe add some more um, column values, you know, and see uh, test, uh, test in your scenario. Okay, let's close this one. And now what we are gonna do, we are gonna go to the Azure Data Factory and here we are gonna go to the data flow. Right there, new data flow, and uh, then now uh, what we are going to do, we are going to select the source. As you know that our source is on blob storage, we are going to go ahead and create our linked service for blob storage. Now, select the Azure blob storage CSV file that we have seen that that's what we are using, and then you can uh, use the linked service. If you want to create a new link service, that's fine. If uh, you already have, you can use it. So let's go ahead and create a new one. And here you will provide subscription and then you will provide a storage account. Uh, that's my storage. And uh, that will do it and uh, hit create. Our first row has header, that's correct. And uh, let's navigate to our uh, folder or uh, container and then select the file. Okay, we are all good here and we are gonna hit okay now. So here we will go to the projections and we will see that these are the column names we have and these are the types our source has a choose by itself by reading the data. So it is a pretty much everything is a string here. So we can, you know, we don't have to do anything here. Just leave as it is. If I will go ahead and preview the data. So we can uh, refresh and it's gonna get us uh, the data. As everything is of string format, so it's not really, you know, ignoring any data or anything. So it is read just fine. Um, so you see right there, we have ID 124A45, and then you have uh, uh, names and then you have a date. You can see simply date, incorrect date came as a string as well. Now let's uh, go ahead and use the cast function. Oh, sorry, cast activity. Okay, in, uh, I don't know if you came up, uh, came with the background of SSI, yes, uh, that's where we have a derived column. Uh, and uh, then we convert that values and then the redirect the rows uh, which were not able to convert. Uh, so this is pretty much the same concept. Uh, here we are using cast uh, transformation. Now here you will select the columns on which uh, you would like to perform a cast. Uh, in this, uh, I would like to do ID and then uh, instead of string, uh, I know that it should be integer. Uh, and uh, you can go further ahead and say format you need to select, you know, if you're uh, uh, thinking to get some specific format, you can select any of that. In my case, I'm just fine. It's going to be simple integer one, two, three. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a new column by clicking plus sign here. And then I'm gonna select a higher date. And I know that it is a date. So select the date here. And uh, you can further go ahead and uh, see all those uh, date formats here. And uh, I'm not going to select anything from there. But if you are specifically looking for something that you can have the option uh, to see and format it uh, according to that. So in our case, uh, I just want to check uh, if this date is correct uh, date uh, and that, that's all I want. And so I'm just fine here. Now, uh, assert type check, so leave that on. So when we preview the data, we can see which one are passing, which one are failing, conversion and all that. So let's go to the data preview here and let's refresh. And now you can see right there, there are uh, all those uh, IDs, one, two, and four is uh, not there because when it tried to uh, 
uh, convert it was not able to convert to the integer so we got the null value there and then we have four five and also you can see right there when there was a bad date uh, uh, data was there so that's also converted to the null because it was not able to convert to the correct date format uh, okay that's great so now what we can do we can further split this data into good data and bad data we can go here and use the conditional split uh, now in the condition split uh, what you can do let's uh, say good data or bad data let's do bad data first okay so to get the bad data what you are going to do you're going to use function called is the error and just put the parentheses around if you want to see this is a uh, let me show you in the expression builder so this is something like that is error and that's it if you don't know the uh, some having some problem and all that you can always uh, go for functions here and uh, these all functions are here as well so if you will just uh, uh, type is error you can see right there okay uh, and hit OK now and uh, we are all good here and let's give a name to the uh, good data okay now we have uh, two streams uh, defined uh, one for good data and one for bad data bad data where is fun function is equal to is error so anything that has error you know with that now i go to the bad data here and i'm gonna go to the preview and then refresh um, okay here you can see that it's showing us all the bad data and you can see right there id and uh, this was not able to convert and uh, that's the record uh, we can see right there and then we have other records here and uh, then you have a uh, good data where it was able to convert them correctly so you can see that uh, uh, the conversion happened correctly because it was integer values and uh, no problem at all and uh, then you had uh, those uh, uh, higher data and everything right there okay so this is how you will use the cache transformation and then uh, extract uh, uh, or divide the data into two different uh, streams uh, and then you can write the correct data to the table uh, you know where the, you have a specific uh, the, uh, data type formats uh, and it should uh, just work fine and uh, for the bad data maybe you can write so some csv file or maybe uh, just another table and then uh, analyze it later so I thank you for watching this video, uh, appreciate and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.